Hi everyone! This is a series about the OpenVINA DL Workbench, which is a web application that allows you to easily profile your model on various Intel hardware architectures. In this video, you will learn how to install the OpenVINA Deep Learning Workbench on your machine. If you want to learn more about the DL Workbench and installation ways, refer to the official documentation website which is docs.openvinatoolkit.org. So we can go to the overview and then go to the guides section. And here you can find guides for the most important components of the OpenVINA toolkit. And the DL Workbench is one of them. We open it here and go to the section called Install DL Workbench. There are two options available. The first one is installing the tool from Docker Hub, which stores pre-built images. So you only need to build an image and run it from your machine. The second option is installing the DL Workbench from the OpenVINA package, which requires installing the package itself and then building a local image on your machine and running the tool from there. In this video, we will take the OpenVINA package and build the image ourselves and then run it as a usual Docker container. To do that, you need to have the OpenVINA package installed on your machine. To install the package, go to the official website. You have to register there and then receive a link that allows you to download the latest installer. So once the package was downloaded, we can install it on the machine. And to do that, we need to open the OpenVINA archive and extract it to some folder. Then we go to that folder, open it in the terminal and run the installation command install gui.sh. Once we run the command, the graphical installer opens. Now let's switch to it. We make sure that we install all the required components and then we get the OpenVINA installed on the machine. Once it is installed, the documentation page opens automatically. It contains instructions on how to configure the environment. But note that the installation of OpenVINA has not completed yet. So if you need the package for other purposes than the DL Workbench, uh, follow the instructions provided on this page that has opened. In our case, we just need to proceed with the DL Workbench installation guide. Here we see that we need to run the script called run openvina workbench.sh from this directory, deployment tools slash tools slash workbench. That's how we build an image and start the deal workbench. So let's open the terminal, go to the installation directory, which is intel slash openvina 2020 slash deployment tools slash tools slash workbench. And then we run the already mentioned script and include the path to the archive we've downloaded. So we execute the script and it starts building the Docker image. So once the Docker image was built on your machine, the tool starts automatically because the script both downloads the image and runs it. Okay, so we see the link here and that means that the deal workbench has started and we can open it in the browser. That's it, we've opened the deal workbench get started page and now we can proceed to import a model and a dataset run a first inference and discover other amazing features of the DL Workbench. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.